exhibition brings together 250 objects. Most have not been seen outside of Jodhpur, as you've heard. They range from jewels and textiles to decorative objects, big and small, and some of the most stunning paintings you have ever seen. There are five main sections, and the Roms presentation has actually added three transition zones that bring together objects that provide a slightly different experience of them than at the other venues. So one of them, for example, brings together some of the precious objects to think about them as not only very beautiful objects, which they are, but also objects of diplomacy, what meaning they had, what use they had in that political context. Another section brings together paintings from a particular atelier of one of the Jodhpur Maharajas, Maharaja Monsen. Um, and the style and the virtuosity in the painting is just really stunning to look at together. And then the third area is actually an activity area. I'll, I'll let you discover that for yourselves. The organization of the exhibition is thematic, balancing a deep historic content with the pure aesthetic pleasure of experiencing art. We also have a number of interactive experiences throughout the exhibition that are meant to enhance the experience for, for visitors. The one thing I want to highlight is the sense of continuity, and I think this was very important. Uh, both for the Jodhpur royal family and the exhibition curators. The royal family is one of the longest continuous royal lines in the world, and I can't stress this enough in what that means. Uh, we often think of other sort of long royal lineages uh, that perhaps might be better well known in Canada, but this one is one of the longest and, and deserves that kind of recognition.